Hello and welcome back to Josh Man Cooking. It has been forever, so you ask me, Josh, what has been new in your life? I got little cute tea strainers, and I started wearing contacts again, and my hair is getting too long. But besides that, nothing much. So I'm back home for the President's Day weekend. It is also Valentine's weekend, which of course, as always, surprise, surprise, I spent alone. But um, that's not too bad because I'm used to it now. This weekend I made a ton of delicious treats, which unfortunately I did not get on film, so I'm sorry, but uh, maybe they will come out sometime, so just go on my Instagram, give my photos a like, and maybe I'll make some delicious treats on this channel for you to see. Um, yeah, that's about it. So today we're going to be trying another savory dish. It's also like a dip, like last week. This time we're making um, honey mustard guacamole. I hope you enjoy this video, and without further ado, let's get started. I just realized, you know how I used to use that like pan in my videos and go lost it. Anyway, first of all, we're going to gather our ingredients. For this recipe, you're gonna need a variety of spices, which I don't remember right now, so here you go, take a look. As always, all of these ingredients will be listed down below with their exact amounts, so if you don't catch it here, you can always just scroll down. You're also gonna need honey and a mustard of your choice, one tomato of any kind, three small avocados, or if you have larger avocados, you can just use two, and you're gonna need just a few leaves of mint and a few sprigs of fresh cilantro. Also, to finish that all off, you're gonna need some olive oil and some sesame oil. So start with your avocados, cut them in half, and you're just gonna use a spoon to scoop out the meat of the avocado. And for the side that has the seed, just use a knife to pick that out. Once your avocados are all cleaned out, you're gonna use a fork and mash up your avocados. Then add in your spice mix, as well as your honey and your mustard. And, of course, continue mixing until it's nice and smooth. You don't have to get all of your avocado, like, well evenly mixed. It can have some small chunks in it. I feel like that actually tastes better than if your guacamole is, like, very evenly blended. So, yeah, just a uh, thought to keep in mind. Now go ahead and take your tomato, and we're going to slice it into fourths. And we're going to cut out all this center stuff, um, where all the liquid and the seeds are at. We don't need that for this recipe. Uh, you can throw it in a salad or eat it fresh. It doesn't really matter. We just don't need it for this recipe. And then now we're going to take our tomato and chop it into little pieces. Set your tomato aside and now take your cilantro. We're going to cut off the stems. We don't need the stems in this recipe. And we're just going to kind of chop up our uh, cilantro. It doesn't have to be very fine. And finally, we're gonna do the same thing to our mint, but we're gonna have those chopped just a little more fine than our cilantro. Now, when you have your tomato, your cilantro, and your mint all cut, go ahead and stick all three of those together into your bowl and just mix that in. Finally, you're gonna add your drizzle of olive oil and your drizzle of um, sesame oil, and again, mix until smooth. And there you go, that's basically the entire recipe, your delicious, um, honey mustard guacamole. If you are um, short on a little honey or a little mustard, you feel it's too bitter or too sweet, you can always add the other to kind of counterbalance. Um, that's what's nice about honey mustard. One kind of cancels the other and creates the honey mustard taste. So yeah, um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as always, and um, let me think. Of course, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Instructables. In Instructables is where I post all of my recipes written out in words and pictures. So you can go check that out if you need help. I love Instructables. Um, their website is awesome and there are just so many things you can find on there. Um, so go check it out there. And there are also plenty of other recipes on there, whether mine or someone else's, go check that out. There's also other projects that you can take a look at. I don't know, Instructables is awesome, and um, I don't know what I would do without it. So yeah, find me on there, um, subscribe to me, and, or follow me, I think it's called. Um, also, I think I just mentioned Instagram, Facebook, basically anything, go find me there at Josh Pan Cooking always, and 
Um, that's about it. I hope I'll see you soon, but there's no guarantees because I'm not gonna come home in another, like, five weeks. So, if I can get anything filmed that's cool, I will see you soon. If not, I apologize, um, in advance, and I will see you whenever I next see you. Um, let me know, again, in the comments if you like videos like these that are, like, more of savory kind of foods. The last one got some positive comments, and, um... I think people tended to enjoy that one, so let me know, and let me know what you would like to see, and yeah. Goodbye.